<laughs> What's up guys? So we're gonna play a little bit of Ark. I've seen people play this before. I haven't actually watched too much of the game, so I don't really know all that you can do in this, but it looks really fun. It's really cool. It's got dinosaurs and all this stuff in there. Let's check this game out. So we're gonna do an actual local game. We're not gonna do like a server. Uh, so we're gonna play single player. I think all of these things should be fine Although somebody mentioned to me that we should turn up the taming speed. Uh, I don't know. It says 3.0 I guess that's three times faster uh, taming speed Will put up just to save a little bit of time since it also will be a single player um, I don't really know if there's anything else here that we need to do so we're not gonna mess with any of this stuff Hopefully we can change it later if we need to but let's go ahead and play a single player all right, so it looks like we're at a character creation screen. Can we turn this guy around? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. We can go ahead and make some changes here. Uh, hair color. Looks like we can go blonde, white, kind of gray, darker color. Uh, let's do that. That's fine. Eye color. Yeah, that's a little impossible to even see. Can you zoom in on this guy? Oh, you can zoom in. Can we see what his eyes look like? Nope. Uh, is it oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Holding down right click, we can move it around a little bit. Okay, so he's got like crazy orange eyes. Ooh, you know what? Let's do like yellow eyes that'll match his hair. That looks good. So head size, small head, big head. We'll do big head. Upper face size. Oh, check out those eyebrows. Goodness. Okay, the game just kind of locked up there for a second. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, upper face size. Oh man, that looks crazy. We have to do that. <laughs> Lower face size. Check out that chin. All right, we'll do that. Head width. Yeah, okay, so we'll do a wide head. Head height. Nah, the smaller head height looks good. So head depth. What is that doing? Is that cheat? Oh, whoa. So head depth. What do you do? <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, let's zoom out a bit on the guy. So hands, big old hands or small hands? We gotta do big hands. Gonna do like monkey arms here. Yeah, short. Nah, we'll do the long arms. All right, so that's good. Whoops. Uh, upper arm. Oh my goodness, he's been working out a bit. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that. Lower arm. Get little twigs for the lower arm. Big old <laughs> muscles in the upper arm. Uh, okay, yeah, we will do that so it matches just a little bit. Neck size, pencil neck. There we go. That's the kind of neck we're looking for. Yeah, you don't want to mess with this guy, that's for sure. Uh, neck length. I don't know, it looks kind of good with the smaller neck. We'll do that. Chest size. All right, we don't want to go too crazy. Nah, we're going to go crazy. Uh, shoulders. Wide shoulders, sho uh, narrow shoulders. What do we got here? Oh, that looks really weird. I think we'll do about there. <laughs> that makes it look a little more normal. Hip size. Oh, okay. We'll put that kind of right there. That looks fine. Uh, torso width. Okay, that looks good. Torso height. Make a really squatty looking guy. Uh, right there is fine. Torso depth. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so final things we got here. We got leg length. Oh, should we make it a midget? What about with the torso height all the way down? Uh, okay, we're gonna do that actually. Upper legs. Yeah, we'll give him a little bit of muscle there. Lower legs. All right, that looks good. And then foot. Small feet. Big feet. We gotta do big feet. Okay, so this is our dude. This is what we're gonna be rolling with. Wow, check out his back. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is what we're going with. So survivor name Bob sounds good to me. Let's create a new survivor. All right, so we are Bob. Can we take a look at ourselves? Oh, I'm sure there's a way to flip the camera around. I don't know how to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's this is us, and this is where we are. So this is Ark. Uh, oh, I see there's like a turtle or something way over there in the distance. So this is a survival game. We have to collect a lot of resources and things like that. You look at things, and you hit E on them, and you collect them. <laughs> Pretty simple mechanics here. Um... 
Yeah, I think one of the first things we need to do is actually find a bush. Most bushes have berries and things like that. Yeah, there we go. Stimberry. Um, so if you guys have tips and tricks, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I haven't really watched anybody play this before. Uh, I know kind of the basics. Uh, I was actually given this game early June, but I just haven't had a chance to really play it. But I did want to give it a chance and check it out. What is that? Am I messing with, like, <laughs> animals home or something? I don't know. It sounded like as I was doing uh, E on this plant, an uh, animal was making a sound or something. I was afraid, like, a bird was going to jump out and peck my eyes out or whatever. Okay, so we got some fiber, I think. What did we get? I for inventory. Um, what? We got some berries. We got some fiber. 24 fiber. That's a lot. Uh, some berries. More berries. Stone. Okay. Specimen implant. Yeah, I guess that's that thing that's on my arm. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing. All right. So I think what we need to do actually is punch tree and get wood, kind of like Minecraft, right? So we will do this, take a bit of damage. Got some thatch. Six thatch. One wood. All right, so we'll punch down another tree. I'm really not sure how much we need, but what I do know is that we need to make ourselves uh, a hatchet. Or not a hatchet, a pick. Okay, so. We go back into here, under craftables, we can do this. So this says, um, we need thatch, we, oh, we need one more thatch, okay. So, were we getting that from the trees? I think we need to punch more trees, right? Let's do this little smaller one. So there's one wood, there you go, one thatch. Three thatch, four thatch. All right, so we should have enough stuff here to make our first item. Yeah, this is going to be a stone pick. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft the item. Okay, and that sticks it over here in our inventory when it's done. There we go. We'll equip that on our hot bar number one slot. Okay, and we will come back and equip that by hitting the number one key. Okay, so with the pickaxe, we can go ahead and mine rock. We'll get stone. We'll get flint. Flint is what we're looking for. Flint will allow us to make the hatchet. There we go. There's one flint. Uh, I think we're gonna need more than one, so I'll just keep <laughs> pounding away at this rock here for a minute. Uh, our tools do have durability. Oh man, that rock went flying. I can go inside of that thing. Looks like another piece was over there flying as well. There is like a dinosaur. Oh man. Is that a friendly dinosaur? I think that's a friendly dinosaur. I, are there friendly dinosaurs? <laughs> Uh, hey buddy, wild female parasaur. Okay, well he's not, or she is not attacking me, so I think we're okay. But I did have to check that out. That is so awesome. This game has dinosaurs in it, guys. Oh man, uh, let's go ahead and I guess we will bust down another rock here. All right, there's two more flint. That's awesome. All right, rock destroyed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how those pieces just go flying all over the place. Okay, so back in here, under craftables. Whoa. Level up is available. Access inventory to apply it. Okay, so we leveled up, I guess, by either attacking the rocks or whatever, or we get experience over time. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, so we got health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, fortitude, crafting speed, and... Torpor. Uh, we probably want to increase melee damage. Let's do that. Okay, so engram points eight. This is how you learn how to make other things, and there's a lot of things in here. Oh, man. Requires level 70. Whew. Okay, we're level one. We got a little ways to go. Uh, so let's learn campfire. Uh, at nighttime, we're going to get cold, and we're going to need fire to stay warm. Uh, stone hatchet. Yeah, let's go and learn that. Okay, we got two engram points remaining, and all these take three, so nothing else we can do here. Uh, we can make a torch. Let's go ahead and craft one of those. Okay, so stone hatchet. What do we need for this thing? Uh, we need more thatch. Okay, so we need seven more thatch. That should be easy enough. Let's find ourselves a tree, and we will use our pickaxe instead of hitting it with our hand. That's a lot of thatch. Oh, man. 
Okay, so we just got 17 thatch real quick. Alright, back into our crafting. Yeah, we will make a stone hatchet. Okay. So... Equip that in the number two slot. We'll put our torch on the number three slot. Very cool. So now... We can <laughs> cut down trees with a hatchet. This is awesome. Much better than punching it and <laughs> making our hands all bloody or whatever. 23 wood. All right, that's much better than what we were getting when we were just punching it down. All right, so at this point, what else can we do? How's our experience doing? 7.9 out of 20. Um, okay, yeah, so that just went up to 8.0 out of 20. So we are getting experience over time. Uh, craftables, is there anything else worth crafting? I think we've done everything we can do, right? Our stone pick is less than half durability. I don't know if we need to pick anything at the moment. Now, another thing, uh, how much damage do these weapons do? Max durability 40, weapon damage 100, 100, 100%. Okay, so the torch is the same damage as a stone hatchet, apparently. Okay, very good. Um, so... I think what we should do, let's go explore a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to... Let's actually go over and check out that turtle that was over here. Oh, okay. You're cold. You should find some warmth soon. All right, let's get out of the water then. So this is crazy how big this map is. I've seen a little bit of this game played, and I saw people running around in... All the stuff they uncovered, there's like nothing of the map revealed. Like, you can run around for days, I think, before you can uncover the entire map. Um, but I know there are like randomly generated structures and things like that that I am interested in finding. I don't see anything... Oh wait, there's a beam of light over there. Maybe that's where we should go. Okay, uh, wasn't there like a turtle over here? Maybe you went underwater. I'm not going to go underwater for the turtle. Let's actually... What was that that was flying over here? I saw something. Oh. Is that one of those pterodactyls? That might be. Yeah, I think we want to go over to that glowing beam of light. Can we swim in this game? Kind of. I wonder if that's a thing that we'll learn. We kind of bob up and down in the water. <laughs> Not really uh, swimming too much. I see there's an O2 meter, so we can't breathe underwater apparently. Oh man, that blinding sun. Yeah, so there's some kind of a flying dino over here. Hopefully it's friendly and it's not going to attack me. Whoa. Is that... I can't read this. Does that say Pterodon? Pteranodon? Something like that. There's another one over there. Okay, I don't know if I really want to mess with those things just yet. Uh, I would like to get some kind of armor. Oh, here's a little guy. Is that a friendly guy? Doesn't look like a friendly dinosaur. Oh, okay. <gasps> Running time! <laughs> Go! Oh, I didn't lose him. I thought I was going to lose him. Oh, here's a bigger... Is, this, is that a Triceratops? Alright, let's go take shelter by this guy. This is a friendly dude, I think. That other dino is totally, like, following me, though. So what's gonna happen? Protect me! Oh, okay, so this dinosaur wants to fight. Come on, what's up, guys? What's up? Oh, we killed it! Alright, awesome! We're almost dead, but we killed it. Uh, <laughs> e. I don't want to drag the body. Oh, I guess that's all we can do. Can we get some meat or something? Oh yeah, we got some hide. Alright, I assume our health's going to recover over time. You know what, we have berries and stuff. Let's go and eat some of those. Maybe that's what we need to help us uh, recover some health here. Oh, these things are spoiling. Okay. Oh, okay, we're equipping those on the bar. Uh, so number four... Okay, I don't know. Where's our hunger meter? Oh, okay, our hunger meter. I can see the little 
leg there. The third one from the bottom. Let's go ahead and eat a few more of those berries then. Whoop. I think we might have ate too many. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, beam of light over there with the sparkly stuff. I think that's where we need to go. Okay, so our berries are spoiling, so we can't just collect all the berries in the world and just have them sit. We need to collect them as we go. I'm not sure what that icon is in the lower left-hand corner. Um, I'm not entirely sure. There's another two-legged dinosaur over here. Not... I don't think it's a good idea to go walk up to that guy. I think the two-legged ones <laughs> are the ones that are aggressive. So, yeah, we're going to kind of stay clear of him, go to the higher ground. I'm not even sure. Yeah, there's so many dinosaurs in here. I don't even know the name of, like, a few of them. Look at that guy. Is that a crocodile? Oh, is there going to be a fight happening here when those two dinosaurs get next to each other? There might be. Oh, did that guy just aggro me? He's looking... Oh, okay, we're out. We're out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know he could see me from, like, way far away, but apparently he can, so we're just going to peace out. I don't want to get eaten today. We just started the game. Running, running, running. Okay. How are we doing? Can't really tell if he's following me or not. I don't know how their tracking system works. Like if they can just continuously follow you, like your scent or whatever, for forever. Or if they lose sight of you and like 30 seconds later, they stop being aggressive. I guess we'll find out if we get like a little alligator buddy coming after us. I can still see him over there on the shore. I don't know if he's given up. Kind of looks like it, right? Yeah, he's going the other way. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, uh, that beam of light... Is that it right there? The blinding light? It might be. Let's see if we can get over there still. Oh man. <laughs> Traversing the jungle! Seems safer than the shore, at least for a little bit. Okay, here it is. So what is this thing? Supply crate. E. Equip fists or torch. Let's do... E. Okay, we are... Oh, require survivor level 25 to open? Ah, oh, well that sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness, check out this one. Okay, let's... I think the torch is making us hot. Let's <laughs> turn that off. Check out this guy! What is this? Oh man, there's a whole bunch of little baby dinosaurs around too. It's like a little dodo. It's a dodo! Okay, awesome. Oh, don't whip me with your tail, please. Oh my goodness, this thing is so huge! What is this thing? Wild male Bronto. Level four. I wonder if we could attack it. I don't know if I want to. This thing could literally just step on me. You're cold, you should find some warmth soon. It just said I was too warm. Oh. That's level 30. Uh, can I get some hide off of this thing? Okay, five hide. Not bad. Free leather. Or free hide. Not going to complain about that. Uh, we are going to have to find a place to set up shelter. And it doesn't really look like uh, we can build stuff just yet. At least I don't think so. Wild female trike level s Whoa! Whoa, okay! Uh... I'm out. I'm gonna come over here and hang out with this guy. That seems a little safer. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey buddy, I'm just gonna hang out by you. Is that okay? Cool. So, that's a level 18 dodo. Um... I was thinking the dodos were going to be really weak, but if that's level 18, I definitely don't want to mess with that. That's a level 2. You killed a dodo level 2. Okay, so can we get more hide? Okay, we got some hide and some stone, apparently. Um, 
That dino is really making the whole place shake. <laughs> oh man, that thing is so big. All right, so I see more beams of light. Oh, there's like a structure over there I can see now. Uh, there's another beam of light. I guess this is just ocean over this way. I don't see any islands or... What was that? Uh, dropped by Bob. <laughs> what? Human feces consumable? What? Everyone poops. Can provide nitrogen to help crops grow in their plots. Uh, would be more efficient fertilizer combined with thatch in a bin. Okay, so we need... Well, I don't know. I think we're just going to leave that alone. It says we're starving. We need to find something to eat fast. Eat some berries. Oh, yeah, look at that. Our our hunger meter is, like, all the way down. I didn't even notice that before. Um, do we have anything that we can eat? We got raw meat. So let's put down our campfire. We made one of those earlier, right? Okay, we're about to die. A level 19 saber tooth just ate our face. Ah, what a jerk. We were in our inventory screen. <laughs> oh man, so we can either create a new survivor, it looks like, or respawn in a random location. Well, let's go ahead and respawn in a random location. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're somewhere else. Hopefully there's no wire, wild saber tooth that's going to eat our face right away. Uh, maybe we will come over here. We got the ocean on one side and some rocks the other. Um, do we have a campfire? Do we have anything? We got some stone. We got one stone. How do we make a fire? We're going to have to do this real quick. So we need 12 thatch, 1 flint, 16 stone, and 2 wood. Oh man, so we got to start over. Well, that kind of stinks. <laughs> Punching wood time. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So, it looks like we just got to level up. Um, I'm just over here collecting some stuff so we can make a campfire so we can actually stay warm. We got the little cold icon in the lower left-hand corner there. Uh, so, let's level up real quick. And this is going to... Well, which one should we do? We did melee damage before. Maybe we should do... Is Fortitude? Is that our defense? That might be our defense. Movement speed could also be pretty good. You know what? Let's do melee damage again. Okay, so that's going to give us 10 engram points. So I think Spear would probably be a good one to learn. We could have a little bit of a ranged attack. Well, not really range, but further a <laughs> distance away. Um, Let's learn that. And probably pants. Let's do that and a shirt. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of armor. Maybe some warmth too. Okay. So we got some stuff learned here. Can I pick that up? Okay. Do that. Alright, very good. So we got a torch. We should probably collect a little bit of stone. I assume we're going to need that for a fire pit or whatever. Let me pick up anything else over here. It doesn't really look like it. There's a lot of stones, but it's not letting me E them. Alright, so back into our craftables. We need... What else do we need? Uh, oh, we need 16 more... Or 6 more stone. We need a total of 16. So let's go ahead and E the ground a little bit. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So we got our six stone. Yeah, I think we're going to set up a fire pit over here. <laughs> uh, this seems like a good spot. Okay, so we will craft up a fire pit. Craft item. Very good. All right, so that's going to be whoops, uh, in our inventory. We'll do this. We'll equip that to number seven, I suppose. And seven. Okay, so where do we want to stick this thing? Probably right here. Seems pretty good. Um, hold E for more options. Demolish access inventory. Oh, do we have to put wood in there? That makes sense, actually. E, access inventory. Must contain fuel such as wood or thatch to light the fire. Cooks raw food when lit. Oh, okay. Very good. 
Uh, so we will put in wood. Should we put in thatch? I don't know if I want 23. Can I split this up somehow? Okay, double clicking it, we can put it in a few at a time. Uh, light fire. We don't have any food or any, uh, hunter hat skin. Oh, can we put this on? Oh no, that's the thing we learned. We can craft that. So how much stuff do we need to actually craft those items? Doesn't show us. Oh, you can use this to skin the appearance of a helmet hat. Provides an adventurous look. I see. Okay. So craftables, we made the cloth pants. And this wants us 50 fiber for that. And the shirt is 40 fiber. Okay, so we just got to go around and pick up a whole bunch of fiber from plants and things like that. Uh, but I tell you guys what, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, it's been a good first episode. Uh, we saw a lot of dinosaurs. We died. <laughs> we got attacked. We killed a dodo. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun stuff happening here in Ark. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode for more episodes in the future. Oh, yeah. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.